Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that last raid uh, raid video that we did on Surge right before they disbanded their faction. Um, the entire video, if you guys didn't notice, was on stream. So if you guys do check out my stream, I'll leave the... I'll leave the link down below in the description. You guys can see that before uh, Twitch deletes it automatically. So check out that entire stream. I streamed for a good couple hours on Sunday, and uh, you guys will see that entire episode recorded on that stream as well if you wanted to uh, go check that out, like basically sort of live. But uh, for today, guys, we are going to show you how to make an automatic brewing potion room. Uh, we actually have a small potion brewing room here that was made by one of our faction members. So like everything here is already organized as you guys can see here. But we're gonna tear it down a little bit. I'm gonna tear down this outside and we're gonna expand it so then it, it expands this entire section here. And then um, we'll kind of show you guys how to do the basics. We'll show you guys us building a couple of them and then we'll finish the rest off of camera. But we'll get you guys the main idea of how to make a single potion automatic brewing stand. And then we'll give you guys <clears throat> basically the basics of how to do that. And then you guys can basically apply it to any, any type of potion brewing stand that you want to make. So uh, it's very compact the way that Insanity builds it. I'm not sure if you learned it. Did you learn it off of YouTube, Matthew? Um, I learned it off of Venom. So uh, one of our faction allies, Venom, taught it to us a couple of, uh, like, before the last reset even. So uh, I'm clearing up a couple of room here. I'm going to pause the video and clear up a couple more of this room while Insanity's uh, messes around with the prototype here. And we're going to test it out and then see what we can uh, get done. And then after we've get, uh, what's it called? After we've tested it out, we'll explain to you how it works and how you guys need to build it. And uh, we will be right back. Alright guys, we are back and Insanity has built the first prototype so we know how uh, we're going to be building this. It's going to be a lot easier for me to explain and he's taught me how to do it, hopefully to the best of my ability and it is time for me to teach you guys how to make it. So the ingredients you guys are going to need is you're going to need hoppers, you're going to need a redstone repeater, you're going to need a bunch of redstone torches, and you're going to need a bunch of droppers. So let's go to Warp Shop really quickly. You can buy hoppers at Warp Shop that's sold. But uh, the only thing that you're going to actually need to make for this build are these droppers. But they are very simple to make. You're going to buy a stack of cobblestone as I just did. The redstone blocks I believe are over over there. The, red so the redstone blocks are right here. So buy some redstone blocks, turn those into redstone, and then all you have to do is workbench. And then you're going to take uh, the redstone, you're going to place it in the very bottom middle, and then you're going to put cobblestone around in a circle around it and then you're gonna be able to make your droppers so that's how you guys make the droppers and this is all the ingredients that you guys will need to make this automatic brewing potion stand as you guys can see here it is very compact very easy to make and it's uh, it doesn't take up too much room so you guys should be able to build this in no time and uh, let's get started so I'm gonna build break a bunch of blocks here really quickly so I have some building room Matthew do you have any quartz on you yeah can you um, drop me some here mind you drop me some go Alright, do you have any buttons? Or oh, you place the button. Yeah, button. Hey, okay. Alright, so this is how we're gonna start, guys. If this is our starting block, we're gonna place a starting block here and we're gonna start off with a button. You're gonna put your brewing stand on top, and this brewing stand is basically what's gonna be automatically brewing your potions. Now comes the semi difficult part, and uh, let's take it step by step. Uh, you're going to place a block two behind this initial button block here, as you guys can see. And there's going to be a wide open space right here, like so. And then you're going to take your redstone repeater and you're going to place it so that if you push this button, it'll power this repeater and power this block. Yep. Next, if you look at this pattern here, you're going to have a diagonally facing redstone torch signal, which basically powers itself off and on and it will toggle itself off and on every time you push this button. So what you're going to do is right behind the torch or right behind the block that is being powered by this redstone repeater, you're going to place a redstone torch which should power off this block after you've placed your entire relay. Now one thing you're going to have to keep in mind guys is whatever potion you are brewing is the same amount, like the ingredients that you use for that potion is going to be the same amount that you use, the same amount of droppers you're going to use for that system. So before we move on to this torch, let's build this part over here. So as you guys can see over here, you're going to jump on top of the uh, brewing stand and place a, a hopper right above it. 
and then right next to it you're going to place a hopper that feeds into the hopper above the brewing stand as you guys can see here this hopper is feeding into this one which is feeding into the brewing stand next step you're going to put a hopper below uh, behind the brewing stand like so and feed it into that brewing stand and then you're going to place a hopper feeding into that which you will place a double chest which will hold your um water. your water bottles so as you guys can see here you're going to place the water bottles matthew you want to go grab a inventory of water bottles for them and you're going to place your water bottles into here and um we're doing this because we obviously want a full chest of water bottles here and the water bottles will be the first item that gets fed into this brewing stand here and it'll automatically just keep this nice and filled up with water bottles so next step after this, so as you guys can see on my pattern here, you're going to take a redstone and uh, you're going to take a redstone torch actually and you're going to place it into a diagonal pattern like so and you're basically just going to be repeating this with the, the entire way up so you're going to have this slab here and then you're going to have another one here. Do you Oops. Want water bottles? Yeah, put it into the fill up our water bottle chest. Okay. And then so like so, oh my gosh, I just destroyed that thing. Let's go, go back around. It's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard at the start, but uh, once you get it down, it's nice and easy to make. So as you guys can see here, I made a nice zigzagging pattern going up top. So the next step in our planning comes to how many ingredients are we using for this potion. So let's uh, let's say that we're making a super strength 2 potion, and that means we need three ingredients, which corresponds to three droppers. So the three ingredients we're going to use is a blaze powder, a nether wart, and a glowstone dust. Now, for your next step, let me finish off this uh, redstone signaling here, and then we can finally, uh, perfectly. Oops. Oh my gosh, I keep I keep destroying the blocks on accident because this uh, this axe is just too strong. All right, so let me get this the rest of this redstone signaling done, and then we will continue on to the next step. So let me get that there, and let me put this here for now, and then let me get, put this here. Is that enough water bottles? Just put, it, just put it like a double chest. It should be fine. All right. As you guys can see, if you look very closely, now that you have your redstone torch relay, it powers off this uh, repeater, which makes it so that whenever you push this button, it'll power the droppers in a good manner, which will make your potions basically automatically brewing. And let us continue. All right. So above, so this is the hopper. If you guys can look very closely, this is the hopper that is adjacent or right next to this chest so what you're gonna do is since we are using three ingredients we're gonna want to put three hoppers that feed into the this second layer or the second level of hopper so one two three now there, there's these are the levels or these are the layers that you are gonna be using for your actual um, for your actual dropper system and this is what you're gonna be feeding your droppers into so if you, you watch closely what's up Matthew you made it one hopper too high. No, it's fine. It should work. So one, two, like that. That's fine. So then you're going to need a bunch of droppers like so. And you're going to feed it into this system that we have here. Did I do that right? Hold on. What did I do wrong? I made this one too low. You can still do that. Don't so low. Okay, well, let's, let's do it the proper way. So as you guys can see, whoa, what the heck? What the heck did I just do? Break the hopper and then place the dropper place a dropper here I got it so there's three levels of hoppers as you guys just saw me place right there and then those hoppers will be fed so the thing is the thing that's gonna be happening if you guys want to go into technical terms when these redstone torches are activated they will activate the hopper that's adjacent to whatever redstone torch it's near and it will release the item that is being placed into that hopper so this is basically the whole entire build right here all you're gonna want to do to finish up is you're gonna want glass if you want glass to actually see your mechanism you're gonna want glass and you're just gonna basically place it along the sides just so nothing accidentally gets thrown out of the system and then you're gonna as you guys can see just go around um, the corners of the the corners of the what's it called the corners of your automatic potion brewing system like so and put blocks all around it so nothing falls out. 
like the ingredients and how to do Yep, so the last step, so what you're going to want to do, this very last step is going to require a little bit of planning. You're going to want to figure out which ones of your hoppers are going to be corresponding to whatever ingredients you're putting in it. So as you guys can see, if you, are, if you guys are familiar with making potions, you guys are going to want to put... Um, you guys are going to want to put each of the single each of the single ingredients into its own hopper. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that right here. So this very first hopper, the very first ingredient that you would put into a strength 2 super potion, you're going to put another ward. So another ward is going to go into this first dropper. The next thing I want to put, I could either put a blaze powder or a glowstone dust nest next. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put the blaze powder next. And then the last ingredient that's going to be put in is the glowstone dust. So once you guys are making a full version of this potion room or this automatic brewing stand, you guys are obviously going to want to put full stacks of each ingredient into each one so it'll last longer. Now all you have to do, as you guys saw, Insanity put water bottles all along this uh, all along this level right here. So basically the water bottle chest feeds into the uh, potion brewing stand and it automatically just keeps these all full. And then next, all you gotta do is push the button. You'll see the redstone flicker right there as you guys can see, which means that each ingredient is released once into the hopper. And if you look really closely at here, the nether wart is being placed first. As you guys can see right there, the nether wart is placed first. If you guys can look, it's being queued up perfectly to the next ingredient, which was the blaze powder, and then lastly, the glowstone dust. So as you guys can see here, we'll watch this really quickly as it makes the potion by itself. So the nether wart was placed first because the nether wart was placed in this first hopper. Nextly is the blaze powder. The blaze powder was placed back into here. That'll make that into a strength potion. And last but not least, the glowstone dust, which will be placed after this is brewing. And that'll make it into the strength 2 potion. As you guys can see, it's not a very hard design. If you guys, I'm, if you guys want to pause your video right here, here's the overall design that you guys are going to want to go for. Um, if you, this, this tutorial might have been a little bit confusing because I'm not the potion brewer of the faction. And, uh, as you guys can see, it was a little bit hard for me to actually fully explain everything, but I, I hope you guys understood the basic, uh, gist of what we are building. What's up, Matthew? Uh, and then when you take out the po potions, it'll be filled with water bottles. All right. So once insanity was set, talking about, <clears throat> as you guys can see here, this strength two potion is about to be done. This glowstone dust is almost complete, and I will show you guys how it is an automatic brewing potion stand right here really quickly. So as you guys can see, here is a batch of strength 2 fully automated. All we had to do was click a button. Now all you got to do is take that back, and then the potion, the, the <clears throat> water bottle chest will automatically feed water bottles into this brewing stand ready for the next cycle. All you got to do is push that button. So take a moment, guys. Pause the video here. We'll go through a quick overview of what you guys need. So this is your starting block. Redstone repeater right behind it, powering a series of redstone torches going in a diagonal fashion like so. So then the same amount of uh, hoppers and droppers you're going to need facing into each other, feeding into the one below it to make sure that it's uh, made perfectly and easily. And it's a very simple uh, mech mechanism that you guys can build and hopefully you guys learned. As you guys can see, two automatic brewing potion stands right here. It doesn't take up much room whatsoever and you guys will be able to put this into one of your small compact bases. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for showing so much support on these last couple of videos. Hopefully you guys learned another, another trick or two for here. And then uh, we're going to fix up this room uh, over the next couple days just so we have a bunch of brewing stands that basically spans this entire wall. And we'll have our entire... Um, We'll have our entire potion brewing stand ready for battle whenever we come to it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Thank you guys for supporting once again. And this is D-Field and Insanity with an automatic brewing potion tutorial. And we will see you guys later.